Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 2, Lesson 1, Introducing Ratios and Ratio Language. The objective says I can write or say a sentence with the words and numbers in the correct order to describe a ratio. In a fruit basket, there are nine bananas, four apples, and three plums. Complete these ratio sentences. Before I get started, I just want to remember a few things that I know about ratios and ratio sentences. With ratios, order matters. So I have to go in the order that the words are or the numbers are. The words in the number order have to match. And then the phrase for every means the smallest possible grouping that maintains that same ratio. Letter A says the ratio of bananas to apples is blank to blank. I have nine bananas and four apples. So I'm going to write that in order of bananas first, followed by apples. So nine to four. The ratio of bananas to apples is nine to four, meaning there are nine bananas and four apples. Letter B, the ratio of plums to apples is blank to blank. Well, I have three plums and four apples. So the ratio of plums to apples is three to four. Plums was listed first, so three, which goes along with plums, is also listed first. Letter C, for every blank apples there are blank plums. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and insert the numbers as is, even though for every means I might be looking at a smaller possible grouping. So for every four apples there are three plums. Now I need to think to myself, can I group these any smaller and it still represent the same group? So for example, could I cut these numbers in half? And if I cut both of these numbers in half, I'd have two apples and one and a half plums. And although that's still true, the ratio of two to one and a half, we like to keep whole numbers when possible. So I don't want to have a cut open plum as part of my apples and plums basket. So this is actually the smallest grouping I can make is four to three. So that is how I will phrase it. For every four apples, there are three plums. Letter D says, for every three bananas, there is one of something. Well, I know in the fruit basket there's nine bananas, so I had to have changed my grouping. And so what did I do? Well, I divided nine by three. I split it into three smaller groups. Nine divided by three gives me three groups of three bananas. So if I divide four by three, I'd have three groups of four thirds of an apple. Again, I don't want to cut an apple into thirds. And then if I take three plums and split it into three equal groups, there would be one plum in each group. So to complete the sentence, I would use the word plum. For every three bananas, there is one plum. Our objective says I can write or say a sentence with the words and numbers in the correct order to describe a ratio. Order matters with ratios, so you've got to maintain the order of which word was listed first. That's the number value that you would list first as well. Thanks for watching.